beautiful beach not far away I went to visit for a day Got covered with some gooey ooze That changed my DNA Now I try to act normal Keep my cool My other kids play after school I turn into a prehistoric hero I'm in Today on Dino Squad. Five ordinary teenagers become five extraordinary dinosaurs. But can they learn to work together in time to stop the villainous Victor Velocity? Go Dino! You made it this time, Fiona, but you broke three rules to do it. No skates on school grounds, and no food in class. That's only two. Littering, three. Sorry, Ms. Moynihan. Settle down. Don't forget, we'll be taking a field trip tomorrow to the tide pools, and I'll need your release forms. Yesterday, we were discussing how many animals, rather than living alone, live in groups or colonies to survive better. You could call this self-interest. But some life forms, such as ants, will sacrifice themselves for the good of the colony, and wolves will instinctively place themselves between their newborn and a threat. These traits are vital to the survival of many species, something from which even we can learn a lesson. I think you'll enjoy working at Raptodyne, Peter. Thank you, Mr. Velocity. I'm sure I will. What is this place? It's where my real work is done. These nanomachines you developed will help speed up the process of perfecting my experimental DNA, the one I intend to use to genetically reconstruct all life forms and turn them back into what they rightfully should still be, dinosaurs. Is it? So, Peter, do you want to join me and be part of the dominant species, or stick with the humans and go extinct? I got into business to swim with the sharks, not be eaten by them. I'm in. Welcome to the team. All right, let's break into our usual lab groups. You have two hours to identify as many species as you can find. And remember, if you work as teams, you'll get a lot more done in a lot less time. Team Shmeem. I'm here to check out all the cool creatures. I'll be a poster boy for cooperation. Okay, let's do this. Fiona, Buzz, and Caruso will find them. Roger, you identify them, and I'll write them down. Got it? <laughs> Come on, guys. Is anyone paying attention? Not to you. Buzz, help me out here. Get real, Jock. If I wasn't stuck in this class, I wouldn't even talk to a species like you. It's all good. I got it covered. Did a little surfing on the net last night. Printed out a list of sea creatures. This is a sushi menu. Sushi, fish, species, what's the difference? Speaking of species, we're all gonna be Biologicus Flunkimus if we don't get our act together and work as a team. Speak for yourself, I've got my act totally together. <laughs> With an emphasis on the act. Oh man. <clears throat> hey, stop slobbering up my new jacket, you ugly mutt. <laughs> Hey! Get back here! Whoa! Come back, Mutt! Hey, Fleabag! You forgot my jacket! 
Who cares about your stupid jacket? The poor thing's in trouble. Let's go rescue him. Dogs aren't a part of our assignment, Fiona. Oh, I hate it when sand gets in my underwear. Forget it. I'll do it myself. Come on, guys. Let's help. Are you gonna save the mutt, too? No, I'm gonna save my jacket. Oh, well. Last one in is a rotten egg. That's you, eggplant head. Hey, come on, cut it out. Everyone into the water. <laughs> come on, boy, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Thanks. Shark! Shark! Hey, man. It ate your jacket. Give me that. I thought I made it clear no one was to go in the water. It was Fiona's idea. To save the dog. Well, I suppose working together to help an endangered creature is an acceptable excuse. Now, get back to work. Two, eighty-three, hut! Ah! Hit the showers, Max. Caruso, you're in. Hustle up, get out here! Uh -huh. you haven't noticed, this is a library. <laughs> Sorry. What? Oh, man. First that stupid mutt ruins my jacket, and now look what the dry cleaner did to my new one. Sure, whatever, Mom. Huh? You know why you all failed the tide pool assignment? Because shrimp tempura is not a species? No, because you weren't a team at all. You were just five. <laughs> Huh? I know what you're hiding. We're not hiding anything. Right, guys? Yeah. Not a thing. Nope, not nothing us. to hide. I saw your claws, Max. And your tail, Fiona. You have a tail? All I got were these saggy arm thingies. They're pteranodon wings. And yours are stegosaurus spinal plates. No way. It's just a little breakout. Isn't it? I wish it was that simple. But the truth is, you've all been infected with virulent dinosaur DNA. How do you know all this? Who are you? I had a feeling that would be your reaction. All of you, hold hands. So, telepathically, we can all see together. 65 million years ago, an asteroid struck the Earth, wiping out all the dinosaurs. except for two velociraptors. Over time, their genes mutated, and they gained the ability to adapt their form. You're a velociraptor. You're like a vicious carnivore. I evolved beyond that long ago, but I'm afraid another raptor didn't. He's become Victor Velocity. How's that possible? The guy's a civic leader. Yeah, he owns that big biogenetics company in Boston. 
Raptor die. Because they dominated the Earth for hundreds of millions of years, far longer than man's short history, Victor believes dinosaurs are superior. What do you believe? That humans gained dominance because brute force lost out to reason and love. That's why I parted ways with Velocity long ago. But now, global warming and modern technology have allowed Velocity to improve his primordial ooze to the point that it can mutate human and animal DNA into dinosaurs. We're dinosaurs? How cool is that? But I don't want to be a dinosaur. I want to be a quarterback. This is much more important than fulfilling your personal desires. It's about saving the world. Can you cure us, Ms. M? Yes. No! Buzz is right. We gotta work together and stop Victor Velocity. How are you going to stop him? You can't even do a lab project together. I say we give our dinos a test drive. I want the cure. I, I want to be, be famous. A video game I say hero. we try it out. Enough! <laughs> I can't afford the advanced technology Velocity has, but I've managed to monitor his activities and impede him whenever I can. That's all great, Ms. M. But can we get started? Of course. This is the DNA chiller. <gasps> Relax, it won't hurt. The nitrogen will force the mutant DNA to the surface as it seeks warmth. This is the devolver. It will vacuum the frozen DNA for safe storage. That's it? That's it. Thanks. Come on, Fiona. Let's go. Oh! I thought we were cured. So did I. Research log entry 13 Alpha. Satellite scanners have located a mutant megalodon, approximately 10 meters in length. Somehow the DNA nucleotides have been fused by gamma contamination. Your DNA is not like any other I've seen in Velocity's experimental mutants. Something's contaminated it. I'm afraid I can't cure you. What? How am I supposed to live constantly changing into a dinosaur? It'll be all right, Max. How? I can show you how to control your new abilities so that you can become dinosaurs at will. This is the sea spirit calling Kittery Lighthouse. Either we've got a new species of whale in Kittery Harbor, or the Loch Ness Monster is lost. Probably just a humpback, Ollie. But call me back if you see any mermaids. <laughs> I sure will. It's a mutant megalodon. And it's headed for the marina. Miss Moynihan, you have to stop that thing. I can't do it alone, and neither can you. But if the five of you can think beyond yourselves, perhaps we can stop it together. Guys, let's go send that monster back to the Jurassic era. No, it's no more a monster than any of you. It's just a wild animal trying to survive. You have to save it, not harm it. How are we supposed to do that? With these. The DNA chiller and the devolver. Fiona, take the DNA chiller. As long as that mutant megalodon's genes haven't been contaminated like yours, it'll do the trick. And I'll take the devolver. Ah! 
Can I borrow that when you're done? My bedroom's a mess. I'll track you on my scanner and do my best to get in Velocity's way. Take the Dino Hydro for you. Good luck. Fish species big enough to swallow us without noticing. Dead ahead. As soon as he shows his overbite, you chill him, I'll spill him. to work as a team. Fiona, you're on the varsity swim team, right? Are you willing to dive in after that chiller? No problem. Buzz, get that de oozer thing. Caruso, Roger, and I will trap the mutant. Go Dinos! formed Spinosaurus is in the harbor. This could only be a result of my experimental DNA. Or... supposed to hurt it. Trust me, go Dino! Let's get the net. What now? Pump fake on three. One, two, three. Get prehistoric. Video games isn't a complete waste of time. You ooze, you lose. Did you see the way I duped that monstrous mutant? You? What about me? Hold it. What about all of us? Max is right. The real reason you were able to return that shark to its natural state without harm to you or it is because you finally worked as a team. 
and I'm proud of you all. Thanks, Ms. M. We couldn't have done it without you. You're the man. Er, the woman. And in Kittery Point last night, several frenzied residents reported seeing dinosaurs at the marina. But authorities report it was Tony Fine's promotion for a dinosaur of a tire sale. Look at that. Just a big balloon. Actually, Caruso, if you think about it, they're not too far off. You are full of hot air. It won't be long before I know all the details of my new dinosaur friends. <laughs> Today on Dino Squad, will Caruso's quest for fame lead him to unmask his secret dino identity on national television? Experiment 647.23A. At 1100 hours, I'm administering primordial ooze, batch 017-23, into the storm drain system of Manchester, New Hampshire, in order to evaluate the rapidity of flow and dispersion. Tracking the ooze indicates it is moving faster than anticipated, and its viability seems to be diminishing at an alarming rate. Take the truck south, then east, following these coordinates. Hurry! <laughs> Caruso, just what is your designer jeans wearing backside doing sitting in my chair? Whoa! Roger, don't sneak up on me like that. And what were you doing on the computer? You know the rules. No using my equipment without permission. I wasn't on the computer. Yeah, you were. Look, you've changed all the settings. Probably downloaded viruses that'll take forever to fix. Why were you looking at a satellite map of Manchester, New Hampshire? Oh, that. Uh, well, yeah, I was looking for uh, dino mutants, save the world, national security, all that stuff. I don't see any signs of... Whoa! Hold the miniature cell phone. I don't believe I'm going to say this, but you were right, Caruso. Trace elements of primordial ooze. And I'll bet you your last tube of fancy hair gel that where there's primordial ooze, there's going to be dino mutants. Let's go with this bad boy. It sweeps the ooze so you don't have to. It'll pick up any extra primordial ooze that happens to be lying around. That's a good boy. Coochie coochie. Ah! Gross! Get that little guy. It may have ooze on it. Whoa! Look out, gang! Run! Let's put these things on ice. Don't let them get away. My calculations indicate that they're growing at an exponential rate. Go Dino!
I'll get him. Go Dino! Hang on, little one. Disgusting creature. Go on, little guys. Go play or do whatever it is you do. Yeah, go, go away, nasty things. We should sweep the area for any more primordial ooze or dino mutants. Report in if you find anything. Yo, Caruso. Some place else you need to be? Me? No. No place. I'm fine. Well then, get searching. Let's see. If I go this way and up, should be just around the corner. Ah! It's just me, Caruso. Did you check everything down this way? Absolutely. Did you investigate that dark culvert back there? Well, of course I did. Do you think I'd say I checked if I hadn't checked? I checked! Don't blow a gasket, Caruso. I was just asking. Um, I gotta go check another drain up there. I'll... I'll be right back. Well, unless one of us missed something, I'd say it's all clear. Good work, guys. Wait, where's Caruso? I don't know, but he's acting strange today. It's Caruso. He's always strange. No, today he's being strange even for Caruso. I think we better find him, which will be no problem, thanks to yours truly putting location finders in each of our watches. Geek, and ye shall find. <laughs> Yo, Caruso, what are you doing? Nothing. Who, me? Nothing. Then why are you standing in this line? What line? There isn't any line. The line that stretches all the way around the block? Oh, that line. Yeah, sure. I'm in line. It's, uh, well, it's a blood donor line. I'm standing here to give blood. That's it. It's a blood donor line. I'm giving blood. Whoa. Bad idea, dude. You got dino DNA in your system, remember? You can't donate blood. Right, yeah, well, I wasn't actually planning on donating blood. I was just waiting to see if, if they had any extra cookies and juice for people that were standing in line and wanted some. Look, guys, you can go now and leave me alone because I can positively, absolutely assure you that there is nothing going on here at this theater that you need to worry about. Okay, Caruso, let me get this straight. You're at a theater, last in line of about a thousand people. My calculations indicate, given spatial variance and a 5% error ratio, that Caruso is last in line of 2,332 people. Just to let you all know, this is the end of the line. Nobody else will be able to audition. For? The you famous TV show. The reality television talent show where anybody can audition and become famous? That's the one. This is as far as the line goes. Caruso, you lied to us. You just looked us in the eyes and lied. Caruso, have you ever heard what Sir Walter Scott said? Oh, what a tangled web we weave. When first we practice to deceive. What does that mean? Tangled web? Like the internet the web? Or... Is it about spiders or something? What it means, Caruso, is that if you lie, it creates the need for more lies and more lies to cover up your original lies until you're caught up in your own web of lies. And it always ends badly for the person doing the lying. Oh. But you don't need to worry. Everything's under control. OK. What are you going to do on stage? I'm, uh, I'm going to sing. <laughs> Experiment 647.23A, continuation. 
Primordial Ooze Batch 017-23 has completely dissipated in strength and faded to nothing. Most vexing. Hmm. Satellite sweeps are picking up a strange ooze signature at the initial location. I'm picking up a possible mutant signature. Turn around, now! I gotta say, I don't remember you ever singing. Not ever. Thank goodness, the end of the line. Wait! No pets allowed! It's okay, he's with us. And he's had all his shots and everything. <sighs> Sorry, I meant the dog. We don't do animal tricks. Look! If you're not auditioning for the You Famous show, you can't be here. Don't wait up, guys. The next time you see me, it's going to be on TV in front of a crowd of adoring fans. <laughs> Whoa, we've got two alerts. One, seems like we missed a dino mutant. It's on the move. And two is coming right at us. Victor Velocity! Fiona, get us out of here. Hurry, Fiona. We can't let him see us. Not good. Not good. Keep your seatbelt on, Buzz. I'm already on it. We've got to get Caruso out of there. Um, guys, Velocity's parked right in front. Where there's a wheel and overhead satellite photos plus downloaded theater schematics, there's a way. The quickest way in, if you're a dino morphing dino squad, is straight up. Buzz, if you will do the honors. Go dino! an act? I have seen that act a thousand times. Today. Boring! Get off the stage! Get off! I'll definitely be something she's never seen before. A perfectly handsome young man becomes dinosaur? Dinosaur man? Handsome dinosaur man? It's going to be all over the place. Everybody will know me. Fame time. Dino man. Dino. Next! Look, Bobola, in the past few hours, I've been through 2,331 other potential contestants, each more untalented than the last. So you had better knock my proverbial socks off. Huh? Oh, no, not another one. <sighs> oh, right, your socks. Well, you'd better hang on to them because this is going to be something you've never seen before. Here goes. Fame, 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 fame! Caruso, have you ever heard what Sir Walter Scott said? Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Look at that. A spider web. A web. Is that it? You done? Yes. I mean, no. Look, I'm sorry, Ms. Simone. I, I just can't. Obviously, because you... <coughs> yes, you are losing me from your show. That has got to hurt. <coughs> um, I know it's heartbreaking, but aren't you overreacting just a little? getting big. This should help. Cockroaches can't see in red light.
Thanks, Max. Time to go dino! Over here, there's a big spider web. We can trap him in it. That's holding him. Not surprising. Spider silk has a tensile strength comparable to that of high grade steel. Sweet. An arachnid saurus. Can I keep him? No, Buzz. You cannot keep the mutated spider. It's those perfect dinosaurs. They're. they're here. <laughs> I gotta set you guys free. I'd like to keep you as pets, but I don't think that would make my mom too happy. Tell me you got that on videotape. I did! The video camera was running the whole time! It's been erased! But how? <laughs> I left them a little gift on the side of the video camera. An electromagnet. Because as brainiacs like me know, videotape is a magnetic recording. And my magnet just rearranges all the low magnetic sequencing that creates image, or static. Well, I don't understand anything about what just happened. Perhaps I can help. I am a doctor, and I'm afraid I must tell you that all I saw was this fire curtain fall. Must have been loose. There are no such things as monsters or giant cockroaches. I suspect that with the lights and the dark and the long day, you didn't quite see what you thought you saw. It could have been a rare type of fatigue-induced group hypnosis. I'm sorry. Well, I am supposed to be cutting back on coffee. Yes. It's probably something to do with that. Why is it I cannot track those dinosaurs? They don't show up on any of my scans, but they're so perfect. I must find them. I must, wherever they are. I wanted to tell you, I didn't get a chance to sing. Oh, sorry, Caruso, but, you know, that's kind of good because, well, I know it's silly. We thought maybe you were just going to go on that program and go dino so you could be famous. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do. See, football? I told you. Now pay up. We bet dessert that you were gonna go dino on TV to be famous. Maxie here thought you weren't. Sucker. I didn't, though. I changed my mind at the last minute. I couldn't go through with it. I... I... saw a web. A tangled web. And it made me think about what I was doing. So I didn't. I'm... I'm sorry I lied to you guys. But I've been thinking, maybe I could still be famous. I could learn to sing and be famous. Funny how that's just what Professor Moynihan said when we called and told her all about it. 
I've been singing for hours. Isn't there an easier way to be famous? If you want to sing, you have to sing. It's just that simple. Me me mamo moo. 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 Maybe I'd better call Caruso's parents and tell them he's going to be late for dinner. Dog, the way he sings, he's going to be late for a lot of dinners. I'm here, I'm here, in the Dino Squad. On a beautiful beach not far away, I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool, while other kids play after school, I turn into Prehistoric hero I'm in, I'm in, I'm in In the Dino Squad I'm in, I'm in, I'm in In the Dino Squad Today on Dino Squad Caruso creates an internet show about pets and gives the pets to his dino teammates which could be a disaster when the pets begin to mutate They're not pets, they're future web stars That's just what I need for my web show. They're having a big sale at Uncle Jim's Jungle Pet Menagerie. It's the largest pet store on the East Coast and the perfect way to distribute my new batch of primordial ooze. Use this to contaminate every pet they sell. I'll track them via satellite as they propagate. <laughs> You sure you want to do this, Caruso? Taking care of pets is a big responsibility. They're not pets, they're future web stars. But don't worry, I know everything I need to know about taking care of them. I had a dog once and it was easy. All my mom had to do was feed it and clean up after it. <sighs> what about these? The sign says they're half price because they've been previously owned and returned by parents whose irresponsible kids didn't take proper care of them. Talk about Hollywood star material. This guy's already got the treadmill. Hey, good looking. Pets, birdcage, fishbowl, turtle island, hamster bowl. That should cover it. Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm. Pet makeup? Pet food. Oh. Sorry, I'm over budget. But no biggie, I'm sure there's some leftover pizza. Never mind, I'll kick in for the food. And some care and feeding books in case your mom has any questions. That's very thoughtful of you. Hold it right there. Animal regulation. There's been an outbreak of, uh, pet lice. We've been ordered to spray all animals purchased. Lice? Ew, awful. Spray away. <laughs> Cool critters. Don't mess with the cast. They have very sensitive egos. Must be contagious. Make up! We are live in five, four, three, two. Welcome, Internet fans, to Captain Caruso's Wild Animal Safari, where I, Erwin Caruso, the star of the show, will perform death-defying feats of bravery with the most dangerous beasts of the jungle. Huh? Watch as I thumb wrestle the dreaded red-eared slider. Pick on someone your own size. <laughs> Uncle! Did you know that some parrots have vocabularies of nearly a thousand words? It's true! But don't worry, we're safe, because my vocabulary is even bigger. And I shall prove it by debating the treacherous Australian budgie. Uh, get a night, bird brain. Uh, well, okay. You make a good point. <laughs> I'm in a dangerous alley where frightening beasts may pop out at any moment. <gasps> Here 
here comes one now! It's the lethal hamsterminator bowler maniac! Stay back. Careful, watch those wires! That's another strike for the hamster. He beat you again, Caruso. Yeah, well, I'm gonna trounce him on the basketball court. Ow! Hey, that's my hat! Next week, I'll take you to the Great Barrier Reef for a game of Marco Polo with the Great White Goldfish. This is the Great Irwin Caruso saying keep it real and keep your web browser tuned to Caruso's Wild Animal Safari. That was totally blockbuster awesome! Hollywood is going to be pleading to broadcast my series on network. I can see it now. My face on the tea mags, my hair on shampoo bottles. <laughs> and your ego on a blimp. You should try showing as much concern for your pets as you do for yourself, Caruso. These lights are hot. They'll have to get used to the bright lights if they want to be stars. Here comes the viewership report on your web show. What's the good news, Raj? A million viewers? Five million? Ten. Ten million viewers? Did you hear that? I'm a star! Uh, not ten million, Caruso. Just ten. Oof. You told me you could act. I am so disillusioned. Where are you going? What about your pets? Them? They're just a bunch of no talents. But you promised you'd be responsible for them. Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. I'll release them outside. They can take care of themselves. Oh, no, they can't, Caruso. These animals are domesticated. They can't survive in the wild. Their natural habitats are hundreds or even thousands of miles away. They won't know how to find shelter or food and won't have any species like them to travel with. They'll be all alone. Okay, fine. I'll take them back to the store. So they can sit on the discount shelf with the rest of the used pets? If you can't be responsible, we will. Right, guys? Come on, help me out here. We've got to find homes for these pets. I'll take the bunny. How about you, Max? Okay, I'll keep the hamster. Maybe I can teach him how to play soccer. The turtle reminds me of my Latin teacher. Guess he won't be too much trouble. Hey, good looking. Flattery will get you everywhere. You can stay with me in the lighthouse. That leaves the goldfish for you, Buzz. I'd love to, but my folks don't let me have any more pets. That's okay, Buzz. My old friend, Mr. Toilet, will be happy to have him. What? We're taking responsibility for your pets. The least you can do is take one lonely fish. The least you can do is take one lonely fish. What an utter waste of precious time that could be used on important things, like trimming my split ends. Mr. Goldfish, I think I just found you the perfect home. mutant outbreaks? That's odd. There should be more. What exactly did you do at the pet store? Uh, we contaminated the pets. Of just one customer. Then we took a lunch break. Irresponsible humans. Please, Dr. Velocity, sir, give us one more chance. We'll be more responsible. And reptilian, I promise. You'd better be. Or next time, I'll have you for my lunch break. Prepare the helicopter. We're going to Kittery Point.
Sorry I woke you, just playing with my pet hamster. Target one has disappeared. Head for the second one. Nothing, Mikey. Just an alley cat. Go back to sleep. That's not a kitty. Yeah, I was going to surprise you in the morning, but you can have them now. These mutants shouldn't be disappearing. Head for the last one, and hurry! What? What's the bathroom rug doing on the kitchen floor? <gasps> Bet you're hungry, big fella. How about some nice, crunchy carrots? I gotta go, Dino. Oh no. Wait, come back! There's another one. Can't you go any faster? going to believe what just happened. Let me guess. You just chilled a mutant bunny Saurus. Guys, you're not going to believe what just happened. Mutant turtle Saurus? <sighs> What's up, guys? Caruso, where's your goldfish? I took care of him. What's the big deal? The big deal is those animal regulation guys at the pet store must have been working for Velocity. They've contaminated all your pets. The pets you so irresponsibly dumped on us and Ms. Moynihan. She didn't answer the emergency call! Huh? What? How do you want a peanut? Would you mind if we de ooze your pet? I'd like that. Thank you. I'll chill, you spill. All of Caruso's animals were contaminated and Velocity's and Kittery investigating. Well, the lighthouse shielding is still working, so he won't have detected my little friend here. But if there are more mutant pets out there, we need to find them before Velocity does. Roger, we need to get those scanners working immediately. I think I found the problem. Got a mutant bogey at the Kittery Point Retirement Home. That's where my grandfather lives. I didn't realize... Didn't realize what? I was tired. I misunderstood what you were talking about. What we were talking about when? When you asked me if my goldfish was okay. But you said you took care of them. I did. I gave him a good home. Not at the retirement home. I put him in the koi pond. Caruso! 
Goldfish get old too, you know. I'm sorry. Sorry isn't good enough, Caruso. But we'll deal with that later. You better get to the retirement home right now, before Velocity does. Go with Fiona. I'll run defense. <gasps> Grandpa! Whoa, Fiona. What are you doing here? I was just taking a bike ride with my er, friend, Buzz. Don't you think you should go inside, Grandpa? Not before I pick up my chips. Wouldn't want to be irresponsible. Go Dino! Hold it right there, you overgrown sushi! Huh? What? What is that? Nothing. Let's get those chips. I'll chill, you spill. Hold it! It's one of those perfect dinos. Get the equipment. Just what we needed. Two monsters to deal with. I'm responsible for this mess. I'll take care of my goldfish. You go, Dino, and distract Velocity and his oozer losers. had tiny brains, but this guy isn't even afraid of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Potato chips? Oh, no. He's hungry because I'm such a lousy pet owner, I never bothered to feed him. Caruso, chill it! I can't. If I neutralize it now, it'll revert to normal on the ground. Can I borrow those? Now, don't stuff yourself. Atta boy! Now follow Captain Caruso back to the koi pond. Okay, okay. Time to go back in your pond, Mr. Goldfish. That was awesome! Come on, Grandpa. Let's get you back to bed. Dr. Velocity's going to be proud of us for being more responsible this time and capturing a perfect dinosaur for it. If Dr. Velocity gets his claws on you perfect fools, you'll be sorry. You should have gone extinct, not the dinosaurs. You're fired! If I never see another human again, it'll be too soon. That's it. Go to sleep now. And when you wake up, you'll realize it was just a dream. I doubt that, Fiona. I thought your mom was starting to lose it when she told me you and your friends were some kind of dinosaur heroes. She told you? Of course. Your mom doesn't keep secrets from me, especially not the ones about my granddaughter's impressive talents. Now run along and go save the world. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you guys. You can give the pets back, I'll take care of them. And give up my new jogging partner? Forget it! My little brother is enjoying taking care of his new turtle. No way you're getting my pet back. No, no way you're getting my pet back. Wow, thanks guys. 
I'm gonna keep my new pet too. Yes, I am, you gorgeous golden goldfish. Did I tell you I named him Caruso Jr.? I appreciate your newfound pet awareness, Caruso, but you're still going to have to make amends for all the trouble your irresponsible actions have caused. I want you to feed and take care of Rump for a month. You can start by giving him a bath. No problem, Ms. M. Washing Rump will be a breeze. Ow! <laughs> Stop it! Ah! Help! He's drenching me! Bad mutant dino dog. Bad mutant. Oh, didn't I tell you he likes to take baths in dino mode? No. <laughs> I think you left that part out. Ooh, ooh. Taking care of pets is one thing. Taking care of pet dinosaurs? Now that's a big responsibility. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad On a beautiful beach not far away I went to visit for a day Got covered with some gooey ooze That changed my DNA Now I try to act normal, keep my cool My other kids play after school I turn into a prehistoric hero I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Today on Dino Squad, Caruso cheats and uses his dino powers to win a football contest. But the ultimate victor may be Dr. Velocity, who uses Caruso to track down the Dino Squad. What's the basic structure of genes? What's the matter? Too busy gelling your hair to study? Very funny. What's the answer? Sorry, Caruso. That'd be cheating. Come on. I'll study after the test. Then I'll know all the answers you're giving me now. Which means my copying them isn't really cheating. It's just a function of things not happening in exactly the best order. Makes perfect sense to me, dude. Awesome. What's the answer? The basic structure of genes is two legs, a waist, and a zipper. You gotta look the ball in, son. Always keep your eyes on the ball. It's a fun game if you play it well. Did I ever tell you my college coach thought I was good enough to go pro? You could be too, if you practice more. You think so? The dinosaurs are coming! <clears throat> Where? Here, to Kittery Point! <sighs> Those are raptors, Mom. They're a college football team from the West Coast. I know. They're recruiting new players and giving full scholarships. The raptors are a great team, and Gold State's an excellent college. This could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Well, then I'll go for it. I could go pro, just like you always wanted to be, Dad. I hope he doesn't feel too pressured, because you played in college. Nah, he knows I'm only interested in him having fun. Welcome to Gold State University's National Football Tryouts, where one talented young player will win a coveted spot on the championship college team I'm proud to coach, the Raptors. Good luck, Caruso. What are you doing in uniform? Trying out. All right, gentlemen. Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> you gotta hit it like a Raptor. Uh, uh. 
Oh man, I hope Dad won't be too disappointed if I get cut. Ooh, I hope our boy won't be too disappointed if he gets cut. Nice moves! I can't let Dad down. I gotta win this. I could get past these animals if I was a bigger animal. No! Don't even think about it, Caruso. Not in front of all these people. Huh? But then again, I'd only need a little dino power. There's nothing showing up on the scanner except football players. Prepare the truck. We're returning to Kittery Point. This gyroscopic autopilot I designed not only steers our tyrannocycles, it's got GPS guidance and speaks four languages. Why on earth would anyone want a talking motorcycle with autopilot? Kesa pizza zoom, mitnehmen dita. Pizza de fromage a la lait, s'il vous plaît. Cheese pizza to go, please. What's the matter? I think I put too much auto in the pilot. It won't shut off. Give me a U, S, O. What does it spell? Airhead? No, Buzz. It spells Caruso. As in Caruso, who made it to round two of the Raptor football tryouts. Thank you very much. Hey, let me try those. Give me a B, I, G. Give me an E, G, O. What does it spell? Caruso! You're just jealous. <laughs> Don't count your raptors before they've hatched. I made it to round two as well, and anything can happen. Anything can happen to you. The only thing that can happen to me is fame, fortune, and fabulous hair. Because I've got lean, mean dino genes. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Nothing. Certainly not that I would use dino genes to win the tryout again. Again? I mean, again, which I, uh... Dudes, sounds like Caruso's weaving one of those wicked webs again. Fine, I won't lie. I did it. So what? So, that's cheating. Why? I've got my genes, they've got theirs, and nobody's genes are identical. We all swim in different gene pools. Cheating is when you break the rules, like, uh, copying someone's test answers. Exactly. And there isn't any rule about having dino genes. We're missing the big picture here. You mean the one I'm going to star in after my football career? No, I mean the one you're going to abandon when you leave us to go out west to college. There are plenty of colleges around here where you can study and help us stop Velocity. Saving the world's more important than making touchdowns. To you, maybe, but not to my... er... not to me. There are more of us here than just you, Caruso. I thought we were a team. We were! But if I can't make my own decisions, I don't want to be a part of your team. I quit! Caruso! Wait! 
Let him go, Fiona. It's only the second quarter. This game isn't over yet. This is great! Just the kind of publicity I need to boost recruiting, not to mention ticket sales for Raptor games. The fireworks and dinosaur attack will start as soon as you announce the winner. You're a genius, Zoom. A rubber Raptor attack. Brilliant! Okay, boys, this is it. The final phase of trials. One lucky athlete will be winning a scholarship and a new uniform this evening. Now let's hear a big welcome for my team, the Gold State Raptors! Okay, let's see what you kids can do against real football players. Max, you're up first. Go, Max! Nice try, Maxwell. But as far as the Raptors go, your dinosaur food. See you next year. Next victim, Caruso. You can do it, kiddo. Good luck, Irwin. Go get him, Caruso. Woo! If you don't pull off some magic here, Caruso, you're out of it. You know what you've got to do. But you know what Ms. Moynihan and the others will think of you if you do. But Dad'll be so disappointed. There's the dino activity again. Nothing. Just football players. Wait. Yes. If the dinosaurs that neutralized my mutant megalodon are in this area, I'll flush them out with raptors. But not the football playing kind. Spray some of the players with my primordial ooze, then keep an eye out for those dinosaurs. But don't engage them. This time, I'm going to track them back to their lair and capture all of them. Five minutes to showtime. Start getting into those rubber suits. What was that? Velocity's men, time to rock and rats. are from the fire department. I've got a permit for the fireworks. Zoom O'Donnell? Just my luck. Stop those guys! Get this off! Talk to the hand. Whoa! That was the finest piece of running I've ever seen, kid. Ladies and gentlemen, We've got our new raptor! boy. Okay, Zoom. Release the rubber dinosaurs. Sorry, kid. It's stuck. to stop them. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. It's just part of the entertainment. This isn't just a publicity stunt. Those aren't my rubber raptors. They're real and headed for the fans. I gotta get pics of this. Dude, that's the cheesiest raptor suit I have ever seen. It wouldn't even scare my grandmother. Just get it off me! Those guys aren't wearing cheesy suits. They've been oozed by Velocity's men. Roger, take Buzz and do your thing. Let's get our gear. Go, Go Dino! Dino. 
sorry, sports fans, but these seats are taken by me. I knew they'd come back. They're on the field. Observe, but keep your distance. Stay low. Those oozer losers are around here somewhere. Oh, I... I'm terribly sorry. Let me get that for you. I hope it's still under warranty. Nice work, guys. Excuse me why I change into something more comfortable. Leave your bike, Max. We'll pick it up later. The dinosaur signatures have disappeared. But there's a trace of something coming from that SUV. Follow it. That's Velocity's truck. I gotta warn the guys. Oh man, my cell is in my locker. Switching to stealth mode. I'm glad Max left his bike behind. Where'd it go? Oh no, they're leading Velocity straight to the lighthouse. I've gotta warn them. Think, Caruso. Think. Think. Autopilot. All right. Hope this works. I think we're in the clear, guys. There's no one following us. Except for Max's motorcycle. My motorcycle? Is that Caruso's, Caruso's helmet? helmet? It's Velocity! Caruso! Get the lead out! Come on! Come, Come on! on. Russo's running out of gas. Velocity's gonna catch him. Get ready to net him. Then we'll track the others. Got him! Tail. Two's company, three's a team. Come out of nowhere, then disappear into nowhere. Where do they go? And in local news, there was another dinosaur sighting in Kittery Point this evening. But what fans thought was a raptor attack turned out to be a publicity stunt for Gold State University's football recruiting program. In other news... You're sure you don't want to accept the scholarship, Irwin? Yeah, I only tried out because I thought Dad expected me to be as good as he was. Son, all I ever wanted was for you to enjoy the game. Whatever you decide to do won't make me any less proud. You might not feel that when you hear the truth. 
I cheated. You said that earlier. What do you mean? How? I... I... I can change into a dinosaur. I don't understand. You mean, if you decide to play for the raptors? No, I mean, for real. Son, first thing in the morning, we're taking you to the doctor. <gasps> That's the real reason I keep ruining my jackets. <laughs> you guys may want to sit down on this. You don't know how much of a relief it is knowing I can share everything with you again. We're your parents, Erwin. You can share anything with us. Your dreams, your failures, anything. So I'm done with football. And as long as there's mutant monsters on the loose, I'm going to try to stop them with my team. My team, the Dino Squad. Okay, honey. Just as long as you don't let it interfere with your education. Don't worry, Mom. I know that even heroes have to do homework. Speaking of which, I better get to school. So you told them? Yeah. I explained it just the way Ms. Moynihan suggested. They were shocked at first. But, I guess there isn't much any of us can do about it, is there? So, we're a team again? One for all and all for one. And every man for himself! What? Not far away, I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. My other kids play after school. I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in. Today on Dino Squad, mutant bees invade Kittery Point, and the dinos get help from an unusual ally. But will it be enough to defeat Velocity's Beezosaurs? Liam, I threw it right to ya. That's an Ethan M3 horn. They aren't supposed to still be in service, but they always use that one on the dairy run. Earth to Liam. Basketball? Did you know that Maine was the first place they used an Ethan M3? They were replaced by the K5LA except for the Portland to Dover run. Maxwell, you playing or what? On it, Mr. P. Liam, focus. May 14th, 1947, that's when they introduced the M3 on the Downeaster from Portland. <laughs> Max, over here. Huh? Come on, Jack. Let's not sit at the weirdo table. How could you let your friends be so cruel? I wasn't even there when they said it. I'm sorry, Max. It's just, if we can protect the world from a megalomaniacal velociraptor, surely we can look out for someone like Liam. I will. But you gotta understand, this is different. Why? Because he's different? The satellite's picking up something really big and local, too. Any idea what it is? None whatsoever. But the reading's fluctuating, almost like it's shimmering in and out of existence. Some kind of interference with the satellite? Could be. Or something really weird. I mean, weird for us weird. <gasps> 
Really, Kate, if you ignore it, it won't bother you. I mean, it's just a tiny little... gigantic monster bee! These will allow you to leave school grounds on a special errand for me. I don't get why these readings are so unstable. Maybe because they're splitting up and coming together again? Incoming! Us. Like who? Good point. I should have stayed in film school. Nothing quenches your thirst like a good old fashioned ND cold. Actually, I prefer good old fashioned water and regular sized bees. One set of regular sized bees coming right up. Chill! Better search for some more. It's not safe, you hear me? They're huge! That's what you were afraid of? They won't bother you if you don't bother them. I mean, they're just bees. You're carrying on like they were some kind of monsters. This doesn't make any sense. We cured all the bees, but we're still getting readings. And you're sure you got all of them? Everyone in town. Maybe instead of focusing on the bees, we should have been looking for the hive. Here's another pass. This time, let's track them back to the source Hey, Liam, how's it going? Got that just in time. Then again, you know what they say, never cry over spilled milk. It's not milk, it's cranberry apple grape juice. Sounds pretty good. Grapes have antioxidants that stop your cells from assimilating free radicals. Antioxidants detoxify poisons and repair tissue and blood vessels, which is why... Liam, is there something wrong with your chest? My mother wants me to eat foods that have lots of antioxidants in them. Most people don't know this, but they slow the release of glucose into the bloodstream by inhibiting the hydrolysis of the glucose 6-phosphate enzyme. Whoa, do you have to talk so fast? Slow down a little. Some of the doctors say I have something called Asperger's syndrome, which my mom says makes me process information differently from most people. I'm over here, Liam. Can't you look at me when you're talking to me? I'm sorry. I really didn't mean it to come out like that. I, uh, uh but I have to go, okay? Why can't I just be like everybody else? Ooze, check. Hive, check. Another fine mess caused by everybody's favorite mad scientist, Victor Velocci. How can he just randomly spread this stuff all over the place? Which part of mad scientists are you not getting? Nobody's home. Is that good or bad? From the size, from earlier experience, I'd have to say very bad. Just because he's a little different doesn't mean he doesn't have feelings. 
He doesn't even look at people when he's talking to them. What's his deal? This Asperger syndrome thing he was talking about? I can't say anything specifically about Liam, but I can tell you that Asperger syndrome is a neurological disorder that prevents people from communicating easily. Is that why he's always doing this? Repetitive gestures, problems with eye contact, facial expressions, body postures, behavior people find weird. They're all part of AS. Wouldn't Liam be more comfortable in a special school? Don't you mean you'd be more comfortable? No, I mean, don't you think it's hard for him being around people who are normal? Defy normal? Isn't it just another word for common or average? Since when is being average a bad thing? If you were average at football, do you think you'd be the star quarterback? I'm a 65 million year old raptor. Does that meet your definition of normal? You change into a dinosaur. How normal is that? I just meant... I appreciate that you were trying to reach out to him, but you have to understand that it takes patience to connect with someone with AS. I'm getting that. Just talking to people is as hard for Liam as solving a quadratic equation is for you. But he needs friends just like anybody else. I'm getting that too. Glad to see you're in such good shape. I don't see you doing a 440 and under 60. Don't feel like getting all sweaty. <laughs> what? Do I have a hair out of place? No! <gasps> behind you! Buzz, we better get out of here. Buzz? Someone found a second wind. I got motivated. Aren't we supposed to be on the other side of the door? We have to get these bubble bombers away from the school. Go, Go Dino! Dino! Go Dino! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. 65 million years back. If we want to de oozify them, shouldn't we be corralling them or something? You figure out a way to corral bees? I'm all ears. <sighs> Again with the bees? Swarming. No, bees only swarm when they lose their queen and go berserk while their mandibular glands scan for the pheromones of a new queen so they can join her colony, but these drones aren't swarming at all, so they must still be following their own queen. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. The freeze canisters are dry from this morning. Think anybody delivers? Get to the lighthouse and recharge them right away, but be careful. No sweat, Ms. M. I won't let anybody see me. I meant be careful of the bees. <laughs> Hi, Raj. Hi, you, Raj. Thanks for joining us. Where are the others? They went that away. Go, Go Dino! Dino! Anybody else wishing these were just spelling bees? Oh, you did not just say that. All things considered, I'd rather be taking my geometry test. Bees. Why did it have to be bees? 
But you like bees. Not so many. Not so big. And definitely not so mutiny. Roger. Go back to the White House and recharge those canisters. What about you guys? I'm sure we'll find something to keep us from getting too bored. No, these drones aren't swarming at all. They must be tracking the pheromones of their queen back to her hive. Watch it! I was here first! to beat you in both. Now, how do we get these bees to follow us back to the lighthouse? Engraved invitations? Let's find Max. We need a plan. Sugar, sucrose, glucose, high fructose, corn syrup. Sugar, sucrose, glucose. High fructose, corn syrup. Sugar, sucrose, glucose. High fructose corn syrup. Any idea how we're gonna get them out of here? Don't bees like honey? Sure. You have 10,000 gallons handy? Huh? Huh? What's he doing? <gasps> what do you think? He's trying to get us stung. No, he's not. Sugar, sucrose, glucose, high fructose, corn syrup. Don't you get it? He's covering us with honey. There's no honey in soda! Sugar, honey, sing different. It's all sweet. And bees love it. Run to the lighthouse. They'll follow you now. The sucrose, glucose, high fructose, corn syrup. How does he know about the lighthouse? Who cares? Time to go, guys. Hurry, guys. The sooner we get them back to the lighthouse and use, the less likely that Velocity will show up looking for them. Anybody up for something cold and refreshing? Chill! seem to ignore them, they'll ignore you right back. What's he doing here? Well, I had a guess. I'd say he's saving our tails. Oh, that is so cold. Man. 
covering us with soda was brilliant. Hey, you're not gonna tell anybody in school about us, are you? If I went around saying I saw dinosaurs turning back and forth into people, everybody might start thinking I was a little weird. You sure taught those bees to mind their own beeswax. Ugh. Oh, did you really say that? Not bees, drones. The queen surrounds herself with workers and drones, and these were all drones. That's very interesting, Liam. Thanks again. No, wait! Liam's making a point. We didn't get them all, did we? The queen's in her hive with her workers. How do we find the hive, Liam? The queen stays in the hive and her workers serve inside with her while the drones do all the work outside. That's all very interesting, but... No, don't you get it? The queen must be using the school as her new hive. That's why the drones showed up there. Three, 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 chill, chill and, and spill. spill. This is the honey sample you requested. Good. I'll run tests for mutagens and other genetic anomalies. And once I've determined it's completely uncontaminated... Yeah? I'll enjoy it with some toast and tea. Listen, I'm sorry about before. I could have been a lot more understanding. Am I really the one you should be apologizing to? Now that you mention it... Hey, hey Max, Max, sit with us! Sit with us! Huh? Huh? What's up, Guy? Guy is my cousin's name. I'm Liam. Right. So, uh... Hey, thanks! Is that cranberry apple grape juice? I love that stuff! Awesome! Thanks, Liam. Did you know it's full of antioxidants? Antioxidants stop your cells from assimilating free radicals, and they also detoxify poisons and repair tissue and blood vessels. I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. On a beautiful beach not far away, I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool, while other kids play after school. I turn into a prehistoric hero. Today on Dino Squad, Rom, Caruso let the dog here. out. Now he's got to bring Rump home before the mutant dino what dog's merry mayhem thing? leads the Dino Squad right into Velocity's clutches. I can never figure out how to load these things. It's easy. Let me show you. Sure, that's how you write a hypothesis, but how do you write the conclusion? You know what, lab partner? It's probably easier if I just do it. Delta this and Euclid that? It's like a whole nother language. You kidding? Geometry is the bomb. Here, let me. Como se llama? Me llamo es Paco? It's like a whole nother language. No problemo, Senor Caruso. I'll walk you through it. You almost done there, Buzz? You said you were going to help me with that Civil War thing. Mr. Caruso, has it occurred to you that you ask for an awful lot of help that you don't actually need? I resent that. I never ask anybody for anything. Here's the peanut butter and banana sandwich you asked for. All right, fine, you win. There's nothing wrong with asking for help when you actually need it. You just shouldn't be asking all the time. Whatever. I won't ask any of you for any help whatsoever ever again. Think he'll last a day? Boy, are you generous. Five minutes will be pushing it. Don't forget, you're in charge of Rump today. Make sure he doesn't get away this time. I have a hair appointment. Can any of you guys... Hmm. Never mind, I'll handle it. <laughs> Way they're talking, you'd think I was a total leech or something. Great. Now, where does she keep... Uh, guys, I was wondering if... Who said five minutes before Caruso would be asking for help? I thought for sure he could hold out for an hour. What was I thinking? Aw, oh, never mind. Listen, Buzz, if you're not doing anything... What did I say, guys? Five minutes. Who the man? What? No, I wasn't asking you. 
No? I was just gonna say enjoy your afternoon off. That's all. Chill. Fine. I'll just go find him myself. Rump. Rump. Here, boy. <coughs> Rump. Oh man! Rom, get back here! Whoa! Ah! Uh. We'll go broke paying for all these repairs. Enough is enough. over the plate and up and down. Need a hand with something, Caruso? I'm good. Got it all under control. Got what under control? Nothing. Nothing's going on, and I have it under control. Did he just say he's good because he has nothing under control? <laughs> This is such a good look for me. Who am I kidding? Every look is a good look for me. That could have gone better. Beat a stray and you'll never be rid of him. Beat it, Fido! Ah, what are you doing? Get out, you lousy! Ah, oh, what is that thing? Ah! Finally, something worth blogging about. This is so not good. Guys, I'm picking up some strange chatter. Maybe we should call Buzz? And ruin his day off? Let's hope we don't need to. Where's Caruso? Hello? Oh, hi, Max. What's up? Roger's getting a lot of chat on the internet. Tell him he needs to get out more. No, he says there's something going on in town. What are you talking about? Whoa. I'm in town. What was that? What was what? It's right there, officer. It's a monster! Caruso, you need our help? It's Caruso. Of course he needs our help. Be careful. It's a monster! Nice monster. Okay, whose dog is this? <laughs> I've never seen this animal before in my life. Hey, 
Hey, you stop that, strange dog I have never seen before. Get back here, Rump! Um, wouldn't Rump make a great name for that dog whom I have never seen before? Dr. Velasi, I'm picking up some strange reports from Eastern Maine. It's coming from a small town called Kittery Point. Of course I'm not kidding. It was the apocalypse on four legs. Something's going on. There's too much chatter for it to be... How did Rump get free? I thought Caruso was looking after... Oh, should we call him? He's not picking up. Doesn't he want our help? He's clearly embarrassed about asking for so much help before, but now... Now, we'd better get out there. This is where they were last sighted. An hour ago. By now, they could be anywhere. Rump? Sounds a little big for Rump. Caruso? Sounds like he's really freaking out. He's really gonna freak out when I get a hold of him. Oh, oh my. my. What's that doing here? More importantly, how can we calm it down long enough so we can freeze it and free it? Go Dino! So the sight of a T-Rex is supposed to calm it down? We need to surround it and hurt it. Huh? It's disappearing? No fair. How are we supposed to deal with an invisible dinosaur? It was a hologram. But who would... <laughs> who else? Velocity! Yes. The bonus is mine. On my mark. Bedtime. Bad time. Already? Anybody else wishing it had been an actual invisible dinosaur? I'm going to be rich just as soon as I deliver these monsters to Velocity. These creatures are going to make me rich. How long do we have to listen to this guy? Until we can find a way to bust out of here, we're stuck in dino mode. At least we can talk telepathically. We can plan something without them hearing us. Do we have an estimated time of arrival for Dr. Velocity? RDS leader Alpha, this is Dr. Velocity. Have you acquired the target? Yes, sir. Good work. They had better not escape. 
your sake. Don't worry, sir. They aren't going anywhere. Ugh. How do we let ourselves get caught like this? I think it all started with Caruso and Rum. I am getting so sick of chasing you! Huh? Max? Fiona? Roger? Aw, oh, man. What did you get yourselves into? I can't handle this alone. There you are. I thought I'd never find you. Say the words, Caruso. Come on. You know you want to. Do we have to do this? Okay, fine. I need your help. I knew it. I knew it. Because Rump got loose, and now everybody's been grabbed by Velocity's oozer losers. What? I cannot believe you waited so long to tell me about this. To be fair, it was only about Rump in the beginning. And if you'd asked for help back then, none of this would be happening. And if you asked for help back then, can we play the blame game after we free the others? Okay, so how do we do it? If I knew that, would I be asking for help? Look out! I'll get him! Whoa! <laughs> nice going, Rump. Okay, on my mark. Go, Go Dino! Let them escape! They all gone? Yep, suckers. Dinosaur. What now? Beats me. Follow me. Caruso, are you crazy? I know what I'm doing. You just have to help me make this work. What now, Einstein? I have them, sir. Signed, sealed, and delivered. And these are authentic dinosaurs, Lieutenant? Not mutations? Affirmative, sir. We have a Styracosaurus, a Spinosaurus, a Pteranodon, and a Stegosaurus. Well done, Lieutenant. And... I've captured a purebred Tyrannosaurus Rex. A T-Rex? Well done, Major. M major Why, thank you, sir. So, are we going to stand here all day? Or do I actually get to see them? You there! Raise the blast door! What is the meaning of this? I... am... I... Mister? Why did you go and lock us up like this? Is this some kind of joke, Sergeant? No, sir. I am so calling my lawyer. I'm not seeing a T-Rex in there. Do you see a T-Rex in there? My dad's a lawyer. Let's use him. Sir, I have no idea what... 
All I see are five kids and a little dog. Did they eat my dinosaurs, Corporal? Is he a good lawyer? I'm seeing a check with lots of zeros. I can explain. I mean, I can't explain. But look, I have pictures. I don't want pictures, Private. Where is my T-Rex? I'm sure I can. Turn in your uniform. I'm begging you, sir. Please reconsider. Why don't we discuss this over dinner? <laughs> I don't know what happened here. How can I possibly apologize? Personal check with a whole lot of zeros? Name your favorite charity, and I'll donate $10,000. 25. Now, see here. I'm finally getting a signal. 25,000. Done. Kittery Point Animal Rescue deeply appreciates your generosity. I was so hoping for that personal check. Whole lot of zeros. Well... Get them out of there! Nice work. Except for the part where you all let yourselves get caught. Maybe not the best plan. No, but with everyone's help, at least it worked. That it did. And I hope now you see there's no shame in asking for help. I know, I know. But only when I actually need it. Exactly. Of course, you're going to have to fix everything that got damaged. Me? Rump did it! while he was under your care. You guys are gonna help, right? See, I'm not afraid to ask for help when I need it. And this time, I really, really need it. So, who's with me? Guys? Guys? Oh. I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. You don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That change my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. While other kids play after school, I turn into a prehistoric.